The room fell into a stunned silence. This is wrong. Daniel belongs with someone who understands him, who has been part of his life through everything. That person is me. Gasps and whispers filled the room as Emily continued, her eyes locked on Lily, challenging her. Daniel, tell them. Tell them how we plant our future to... This is Lily, a beautiful lady with the most captivating personal story. Before I dive into this story, please consider liking this video and subscribing for more tales like this. Now, let's get into it. Lily met Daniel at a mutual friend's birthday party. It wasn't love at first sight, it was more like fascination. At first debate, they argued over the best 90s rock band and from that heated discussion, something just clicked. They started dating and before they knew it, a year had passed and Daniel popped the question during a Valentine's dinner. It was simple, no grand gestures, just pure love and of course, Lily said yes. Meeting Daniel's family was supposed to be a milestone in their relationship, a step towards becoming family, but it felt more like stepping into a lion's den. They were invited to a family dinner at their house, and that was when Lily first met Daniel's sister, Emily. From the moment Lily was introduced, she sensed a chill from her that went beyond the usual sibling rivalry. Nice to meet you, Lily. Daniel has told us so much about you, Emily said, her voice dripping with something that didn't quite match. Her words, her eyes, sharp and assessing, seemed to look right through Lily. Thank you, Emily. I've been looking forward to meeting you, she replied, trying to keep the conversation light despite the tension. Dinner was an awkward one. Daniel's parents were polite but distant. Emily was worst. She kept bringing up stories from Daniel and her childhood, emphasizing their closeness. Her words, a subtle reminder of her long-standing bond with him. Every story, every memory shared felt like a deliberate showcase of her significance in his life, overshadowing any potential place for Lily. Remember that time we camped out in backyard, Daniel? We promised each other we will always stick together, just like those stars stuck in the sky. Emily said, her eyes locked on Lily across the table. Yeah, those were fun times, Daniel replied, giving Lily's hand a reassuring squeeze under the table. But even his support, couldn't ease the discomfort of the evening. Throughout the dinner, it became clear that the family's dynamics were more complex than Lily had anticipated. Daniel came from a family that held traditions and family ties in high regards. This difference seemed to underline the evening, making Lily's relationship with Daniel appear more like an intrusion into a well-guided fortress rather than a union to be celebrated. As the evening drew to a close, she couldn't shake the feeling of having been evaluated and found wanting. The cold reception was a harsh contrast to the warmth Daniel and her shared, and as they said their goodbyes, Lily couldn't help but feel that the battle lines were being drawn, not just between her and Emily, but between her and the world Daniel had grown up in. On their way home, Daniel try to lighten the mood don't worry they just need time to get used to the idea of us it will get better he assured lily his voice full of hope but as she nodded and tried to smile a part of her couldn't help but wonder if it was just wishful thinking as the wedding planning kicked into full gear the underlying tension between emily and lily only intensified Daniel and Lily spent evenings poring over guest lists and menu options. Their living rooms scattered with fabrics and floral catalogs. Yet, despite the joyous preparations, 
Emily's influence loomed like a shadow over their plans. One evening, as Daniel and Lily discussed wedding invitations, Lily's phone burst with an email notification. It was from the venue coordinator expressing confusion over a call from someone claiming to be handling changes from their wedding. Hey Daniel, did you ask anyone to discuss our venue arrangement? Lily asked, a knot forming in her stomach. No, I haven't. Why? What's going on? His brow furrowed. It seems someone called venue to move our dates back by a month. The coordinator assumed it was a mistake and wanted to confirm with us first. Lily explained, feeling a mix of anger and disbelief. That has to be a misunderstanding or... Emily, Daniel muttered, his voice trailing off as he grabbed his phone to call his sister. The phone call that ensued was tough and filled with Daniel's attempt to remain calm as he confronted Emily. I just want to understand why you would do something like that, Emily. You know how much this day means to us. Daniel's voice was strained, trying to mediate the growing rift. Daniel, someone needs to make sensible decisions. You are rushing into this without considering the family. Emily's voice was sharp, laced with a cold authority. That made Lily wonder. As Daniel argued with Emily, Lily couldn't help but reflect on the small discrepancies that had been popping up, a change appointment here, a miscommunication there, all seemingly minor, but together they painted a picture of deliberate sabotage. In the following weeks, this incident grew. Their chosen flurry suddenly had a scheduling conflict. Their cake testing was inexplicably cancelled. And subtle but cutting remarks from Emily became more frequent during family gathering. You know tradition dictates that family should have a significant say in wedding arrangement. You wouldn't want to break family's tradition, would you? Would you? Emily would say, her words dripping with insincerity as she smiled sweetly at Lily across the room. Each comment, each disruption felt like a calculated move to unsettle Lily, to question her place beside Daniel. And as much as Daniel tried to shield her from the brunt of it, the stress began to seep into their relationship, causing a small fracture. One night, as they sat exhausted on their couch, Daniel let out a long sigh. I'm sorry, I never taught my family that Emily will go to such length to disrupt our happiness. It's not just about this disruption, Daniel. It's about us. How are we going to handle this going forward? Can we handle this? Lily questioned, her voice barely above a whisper, filled with a mixture of frustration and fear. We will, Lily, I promise. We are in this together, right? Emily or no Emily, you are the one I chose, Daniel replied, reaching for Lily's hand. His words meant to comfort, did some suiting things to her. Yet, the realization remained. This was only the beginning of what they had to face as they planned their future together. The question wasn't just about what color the napkins should be or which band would play at their reception. It was whether they could withstand the storm Emily was determined to unleash. The morning of their wedding, the wedding day, a perfect backdrop for what should have been the happiest day of Lily and Daniel's life. Daniel and Lily were a bundle of nerves and excitement. As they got ready in separate rooms, their hearts set on the new beginning that lay just hours ahead. The venue was decorated beautifully with flowers lining the aisle and the soft melody of a string floating in the air. As Lily stepped into her wedding dress, her mother wiped away a tear, her smile as radiant as the morning sun. You look beautiful, Lily. Daniel is a lucky man. Lily felt a surge of joy despite the trouble with Emily. That day felt like victory, like love was truly winning. The ceremony was set to start in an hour. Emily, dressed in a red gown that mirrored Lily's, her face set in a determined, 
almost triumphant expression, the murmur started instantly, spreading throughout the guests like wildfire. I'm sorry to interrupt, but there is something I must say, Emily announced loudly, her voice cutting through the soft music. Like a knife, the room fell into a stunned silence. This is wrong. Daniel belongs with someone who understands him, who has been part of his life through everything. That person is me. Gasps and whispers filled the room as Emily continued, her eyes locked on Lily, challenging her. Daniel, tell them. Tell them how we planned our future together. How this is a mistake. Daniel stood frozen at the altar, his eyes flicking between Lily and Emily. The conflict evident on his face. After a moment that felt like an eternity, he took a breath and spoke. Emily, you are my sister and I love you. But what you are doing is wrong. Lily is my future, my choice. I am marrying her. His voice was firm, his decision clear, but Emily wouldn't have it. No, you are just confused, blinded by whatever this is. Emily's voice cracked, her facade beginning to crumble as tears started to stream down her face. I am not confused, Emily. I am very clear. Please leave now. The tension was palpable as everyone waited for Emily's next move. With a sob, she turned and fled the room like departure, leaving a trail of shock and discomfort. The ceremony resumed, but the joyous atmosphere had dimmed. Daniel and Lily exchanged their vows in a haze of mixed emotions, the echoes of Emily's outburst lingering in the air. After the ceremony, as guests shuffled to the reception, Daniel pulled Lily aside. I am sorry, Lily. I had no idea she would go to such length. It's not your fault, Daniel, but it's clear now, more than ever. We need to stand together, more united than ever. Yes, Daniel agreed, a determined look crossing his face. Today is about us, our love, and no one will take that away from us. The reception began, and despite the earlier cures, they tried to salvage the celebration. Laughter slowly returned and music filled the gaps left by earlier tension. The reception carried on, the mood undeniably subdued as guests whispered among themselves. Reeling from Emily's earlier skeptical, Daniel and Lily tried to mingle, to smile and thank everyone for being there but the air was thick with unspoken words and pitying glances. Later, as they sat at their table, Daniel's mother approached her expression, a mixture of embarrassment and resolve. She reached out to Lily. I'm sorry, Lily. What Emily did today, there are no words. She doesn't have to do that. And she doesn't speak for all of us. Thank you so much, Ma. This means a lot to me replied Lily, trying to muster a grateful smile despite the swelling emotion inside her. We just want what's best for Daniel, and if that's with you, then we support it, she added, before returning to her seat, leaving a small comfort in her wake. Throughout the evening, the reality of what had transpired began to truly sink in. The wedding that was supposed to celebrate love and union had morphed into a battleground of family loyalties and personal vendettas. Lily excused herself to the edge of the venue, needing a moment alone to cool the night off. Daniel found her there, his presence a reassuring constant in the chaos of the day. We get through this, Lily. Together, he said, wrapping an arm around her. As they looked at the quiet darkness, I know Daniel, but it's hard not to feel like this. Today has been taken from us. I wanted it to be perfect. It's not the day that makes us. It's every day after this, he replied, his voice steady and sure. The next morning, news of Emily's action has spread within the family and the backlash was swift. 
Daniel's father called Lily and Dan to apologize on behalf of the family. His words heavy with disappointment. We've spoken to Emily. She's taking some time away to think about her actions. We hope this can be a stand to mending things. His father said, the hope in his voice tinged with an uncertainty. Daniel responded with a firmness. I appreciate it, Dad. But for now, Lily and I need space to start our lives without this hanging over us. As days turned into weeks, the emotional toll of the wedding began to lessen. The initial hurt gave way to a strengthened resolve to build a life with Daniel. One not overshadowed by familiar expectations or sabotage, their discussion about Emily and the wedding became less frequent replaced by plans for their future, discussion about where they would live and how they would navigate their new life together. Despite the rocky start, their resolve to make their marriage work only grew stronger. The love and support from their friends and the members of Daniel's family who reached out to them in the aftermath brought a newfound appreciation for the relationship that truly mattered. Their gateway was exactly what Daniel and Lily needed. As they sat by the lakeside, watching the sunset, paint the skies in hues of orange and pink, Daniel looked at Lily and said, I'm so proud of how we handled everything. This is just the beginning, Lily. There is so much more for us ahead. As days turned into weeks, their lives settled into a new rhythm, one marked by quiet evening at home and weekend exploration of little known local sports. Their conversation often drifted to plans for the future, perhaps a new home or starting a family. Emily remained out of touch. Her absence a silent acknowledgement of her need to reflect on her actions. Now, this story has reached its conclusion. I would love to hear your thoughts. In moments of conflict, do you think it is more important to stand by your family, no matter what, or to support your partner and the life you've chosen together? Share your opinion in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the story and want to see more, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring more stories like this one to you. Till I see you again in my next story. Goodbye.